The U.S. installed more than 8,000 megawatts of wind generation in 2016, meaning there is now enough wind energy to power more than 20 million homes. Transmission and distribution lines are critical for moving that electricity, but the wires making these connections have limits because they heat up and can sag as more power flows. New Idaho National Laboratory Technology, funded by the U.S. Department of Energy's Wind Energy Technologies Office, uses real-time weather information and computer models to help utilities seamlessly integrate more wind energy, relieve transmission line congestion, and extend the lifetime of our existing grid infrastructure. In short, it helps utilities add more wind power to the grid without adding more transmission lines. Traditionally, the amount of power transmitted through lines is bounded by static limits set with conservative weather assumptions. Yet varying environmental factors can change the amount of cooling on power lines and allow for increased current loads. In fact, lines near wind farms are ideally suited to handle extra electricity generated on windy days. Utility operators could safely maximize the amount of electricity flowing through a grid network if they had access to reliable, real-time information about weather and other conditions along the transmission lines. Now, a new suite of software tools provides that access, making it possible to easily integrate such information into utility control room operations. A software application called Glass combines power flow and weather information to give utilities user-friendly access to accurate, real-time assessments of dynamic line limitations. It accounts for dynamics such as wind speed and direction, ambient air temperature, and solar radiation exposure, all of which affect the relationship between current and temperature. It also factors in variables such as terrain. Our general line capacity state solver, GLASS for short, Give system planners, transmission line design engineers, and control center operators the data they need to keep their system running at maximum efficiency. Real-time information about line temperature has traditionally been difficult to obtain. INL's approach uses an optimized number of customized but commercially available weather stations placed in a limited number of carefully selected locations. By enhancing software pioneered by WinSim, INL has been able to incorporate data from dozens of weather stations into a single computational fluid dynamics model. Its resolutions are fine enough to resolve wind speed and direction at each span as an end-to-end -end solution. The novel approach allows utilities to calculate reliable current capacity using dynamic line rating instead of the overly conservative static line rating that has been the norm. Compared to other dynamic line rating approaches, GLASS offers the same or better accuracy with lower cost installation and maintenance. INL field validation has shown that capacity increases between 10 and 40% are achievable. One wind farm we've worked with could add more than 40% more wind turbines without having to build any additional transmission lines. It's well understood that limited access to transmission can lead to difficulties in building new wind power plants as well as lead to curtailment once they are built. Here at the Department of Energy, we're constantly working with our partners at the national laboratories, industry, and academia to try to come up with new solutions to help integrate larger amounts of variable generation into the power grid. Projects such as this are part of a suite of science-based solutions to help grid operators manage a dynamic, ever-evolving power mix. We look forward to further refining this methodology and enhancing its capabilities in the future. With two industry-supported pilot projects in Idaho, and a third in Alberta, INL has developed an industry-informed solution to monitor conditions along hundreds of miles of transmission lines. Glass offers utilities an all-in-one tool to relieve electricity congestion, add reliability, and defer construction of new transmission lines.